Welcome back. Welcome back to forpay.org. Consumers, Dr. Vengala. Folks, today's topic is payment system, healthcare payments. It's have become a contentious issue in the healthcare. Why can't it be operated as simple credit and debit, folks? This is what I, you know, these credit card companies operate their business through credit and debit, incentives and rewards, point system. Why can't our government can operate as a business rather than a bureaucratic system the way we have right now? The billing system is so complicated, so it's hard to understand the these codes, where they, how the numbers came about, and the payment keeps going down to the healthcare providers. The other day I was talking to my son, he's a cardiologist. His payments are hardly any, it's just not worth it for him to do any, you know, anything, you know, because it, the the it is becoming uh, cardiologists are you know for a to do a cardiac cath or an angioplasty it's just not the worth the hassle they have to go through to get 400 bucks or whatever 200 bucks just for the angiogram which is which is really only thing government knows is to lower the payment, but they don't have any idea of lowering the overall lowering the health healthcare costs. There's a lot of middlemen, you know, stifling the funds. I see there's a lot of funds are being stifled right in the middle, you know, bureaucrats, so-called the CPT and DRG codes. They, they're just too complicated and only thing they do is lower the payments. That's, that's the only thing they know of. But the healthcare providers have to support themselves with the, all the staff, the billing. You know, if you take away the billing aspect of it, folks, the cost will go down tremendously. Why can't the government work the way we have operated this, our credit and debit system? and pay as you go, and the prices have to be transparent. Each customer, each recipient, each consumer should have a credit and debit card for healthcare, and the prices have to be very transparent. And let the consumer decide how much he wants to pay and where to go and what to pay. And it's up to the consumer, it's up to the patient, it's up to the customer to pay what a provider deserves. You can't let it dictate from the HHS sitting in Washington with several, diff, you know, there are by the zip code, the payments varies by the zip uh, zip codes, I guess, and but I, it's just not working out the way I see it. The healthcare ca costs can be brought down only if consumers get involved in the payment system, and consumers have the power to lower the costs. I wish people in Washington are listening. I, again, uh, I don't. I don't have any problems with Obamacare. I don't have any problem with mandated, but this control, this control, the healthcare is nothing but a controlling folks. I don't like people being controlled. You should give the choice to the consumers. Let consumers decide what is the best way, how much is it to pay the provider. You suppose if if a provider gets hospitalized and you need to have the same credit and debit card with blockchain coming technology coming in i believe that each person has their own
credit and debit, basing on their health. And we need to focus on people with chronic illnesses. People are healthy, they want to save money, they sh you should give incentivize to save money for their future. So you create a point system where they get more points by saving and that will incentivize the consumers to save more so they can pay less and it is theirs to keep as long as they have a credit on their health card. I really believe credit and debit card system for the healthcare will work better than this billing. Billing system is not working and this Congress is trying to address the surprise medical billing. They need to be they need to be gone. And the folks are getting hurt. They're declaring bankruptcies. And it is becoming a nightmare. And people who are providing the service in the middle are swindling the funds. I bet you, I bet you. The other day I go to this medical group. Very first thing is they want the insurance and they want a 10 page form to be filled out all the information. See, this is where it, there's no reason for all that paperwork and all that. If you create a, a point system or a credit and debit card system on the health card, create, incentivize the consumers to save and for their health care, for their future, that will go a long way, folks. This is, as a consumer's doctor, I feel obligated to go be on the consumer. Now, being retired, I am on your side, folks. <laughs> Listen, I've been through the, I've been an healthcare provider. I've seen the funds being, you know, the payments be going down and down and down, how far south they can go because providers are unhappy. They don't want to, you know, they don't want to really go out of the way to provide the service because, you know, I see a lot of providers are unhappy with the payments. I can see that. But who is making the money? This is the problem. We are spending $3.8 trillion. Who is, where is this money going? I wish the people in Washington understands where these funds are going. It is not going to you or me. It's not going to the providers who's, you know, administrative costs, who's, where is it? It is going to the Wall Street? I'm not sure because these so-called managed care organizations are profiting at the expense of, you know, poor people, average folks. They think they're providing the service, but they're, you're mistaken. They're taking the funds from the government and cutting down the care. I really don't like the system. I would rather give the empowerment to the consumer directly without intermediary organizations. I would like to see customers, consumers, patients get incentivized. And every time the provider gets hospitalized, they need to be aware how much the cost is going to be, how much is per day cost, what is the cost for Every encounter they see, it, you know, is you know, when you get into the hospital, it's like a slot machine. They keep, you know, they they can't do that, folks. They need to know what exactly they're receiving, and they have to be, they have to sign off before they get discharged. How much is the bill? I would rather to see patients sign off on the bill before they leave. I would like to see the transparency in the this healthcare sector especially on the facilities when they charge the Medicare or your insurance, they need to know what the bill is going to be before they get discharged. Is it difficult to do that? I don't think so. But you know, the problem is the insurers want a status quo. They don't like, they don't like the risk segmentation they don't like to make changes in the payment system. They don't like to make any changes in the payment system because they don't want the consumers to be empowered. That's what I, you know, I really believe consumers don't want to be. They have been ignoring the consumers all this time. They can't.
they can't anymore only the consumers will lower the cost of the healthcare you need to empower the consumer folks it is a driving force which will lower the costs of the healthcare i would like to see consumer transparency where patients get admitted discharge bill before it's like checking into a hotel and getting discharged you know how much the bill is how much is your credit or debit and whatever your health card is you pay as you go rather than billing system because billing system is costing more folks if you like what i'm saying hit the like button subscribe share and make some comment box we will see you in the next episode of 4pay.org goodbye god bless